Enrollment Terms and Conditions, Paparazzi Accessories. I understand that as an independent consultant for paparazzi, paparazzi, I have the right to offer for sale paparazzi products and services in accordance with these terms and conditions. I have the right to enroll persons in paparazzi. If qualified, I have the right to earn commissions pursuant to paparazzi compensation plan. I agree to present the paparazzi marketing and compensation plan and paparazzi products and services as set forth in official paparazzi literature. I agree that as a paparazzi consultant, I am an independent contractor and not an employee, partner, legal representative, or franchisee of paparazzi. I agree that I will be solely responsible for paying all expenses which I incur in my business, including but not limited to travel, food, lodging, secretarial, office, long distance, and other telephone and other expenses. I understand that I shall not be treated as an employee of paparazzi for federal or state tax purposes. Paparazzi is not responsible for withholding and shall not withhold or deduct from my bonuses and commissions, if any, FICA or taxes of any kind unless required by law. I have carefully read and agreed to comply with the paparazzi policies and procedures, the paparazzi marketing and compensation plan, which are incorporated into and made a part of these terms and conditions, these three documents shall be collectively referred to as the agreement. I understand that I must be in good standing and not in violation of the, of the agreement to be eligible for bonuses or commissions from paparazzi. I understand that paparazzi policies and procedures and or the paparazzi marketing and compensation plan may be amended at the sole discretion of paparazzi, and I agree to abide by all such amendments. Notification of amendments shall be posted on paparazzi's website. Amendments shall become effective 30 days after publication. The continuation of my paparazzi business or my acceptance of bonuses or commissions shall constitute my acceptance of any and all amendments. The term of this agreement is one year. If I fail to annually renew my paparazzi business through the purchase of inventory or if it is canceled or terminated for any reason, I understand that I will, be, I will permanently lose all rights as a consultant. I shall not be eligible to sell paparazzi products and services nor shall I be eligible to receive commissions, bonuses, or other income resulting from the activities of my former downline sales organization. In the event of cancellation, termination, or non-renewal, I waive all rights I have, including but not limited to property rights to my former downline organization and to any bonuses, commissions, or other remuneration derived through the sales and other activities of my former downline organization. Paparazzi reserves the right to terminate all consultant agreements upon 30 days notice if the company elects to cease business operations, dissolve as a business entity, or terminate distribution of its products and services via direct selling channels. Consultant may cancel this agreement at any time and for any reason upon written notice to paparazzi and its at its pr principal business address. I may not assign any rights under the agreement without the prior written consent of paparazzi. Any attempt to transfer or assign the agreement without the, expense, the express written consent of paparazzi renders the agreement voidable at the option of paparazzi and may result in termination of my business. I understand that if I fail to comply with the terms of the agreement, paparazzi may, at its discretion, impose upon me disciplinary sanctions at set, as set forth in the policies and procedures. 
if I am in breach, default, or violation of the agreement at termination, I shall not be entitled to receive any further bonuses or commissions, whether or not the sales for such bonuses or commissions have been completed. Paparazzi, its parent or affiliate companies, directors, officers, shareholders, employees, assigns, and agents, collectively referred to as affiliates, shall not be liable for, and I release paparazzi and its affiliates from all claims for consequential and exemplary damages for any claim or cause of action relating to the agreement. I further agree to release paparazzi and its affiliates from all liability arising from or related to the promotion or operation of my paparazzi business and any activities related to it e.g. the presentation of paparazzi products or compensation marketing plan, the operation of a motor vehicle, the lease of meeting or training facilities, etc., and agreed to indemnify paparazzi for any liability, damages, fines, penalties, or other awards arising from any authorized conduct that I undertake in operating my business. The agreement in its current form and as amended by paparazzi at its discretion constitutes the entire contract between paparazzi and myself. Any promises, representations, offers, or other communications not expressly set forth in the agreement are of no force or effect. Any waiver by paparazzi of any breach of the agreement must be in writing and signed by an authorized officer of paparazzi. Waiver by paparazzi of any breach of the agreement by me shall not operate or be construed as a waiver of any subsequent breach. If any provision of the agreement is held to be invalid or unenforceable, such provisions shall be severed and the severed provision shall be reformed only to the extent necessary to make it enforceable. The balance of the agreement will remain in full force and effect. This agreement will be governed by and construed in accordance with the laws of the state of Utah without regard to principles of conflicts of laws. In the event of a dispute between a consultant and paparazzi arising from or relating to the agreement or the rights and obligations of either party, the parties shall attempt in good faith to resolve the dispute through non-binding mediation as more fully described in the policies and procedures. Paparazzi shall not be obligated to engage in mediation or arbitration as a prerequisite to disciplinary action against a consultant. If the parties are unsuccessful in resolving their dispute through mediation, the dispute shall be settled totally and finally by arbitration as more fully described in the policies and procedures. Notwithstanding the foregoing, paparazzi shall be entitled to bring an action before the state or federal courts in Salt Lake County, State of Utah, seeking a restraining order, temporary or permanent injunction, or other equitable relief to protect its intellectual property rights, including but not limited to actions to protect its consumer and or consultant lists, as well as other trade secrets, trademarks, trade names, patents, and copyrights. The parties consent to jurisdiction and venue before any federal or state court in Salt Lake County, State of Utah, for purposes of enforcing an award by an arbitrator, an action by paparazzi for equitable relief, or any other matter not subject to arbitration. Louisiana residents, notwithstanding the, the foregoing, Louisiana residents may bring an action against the company with jurisdiction and venue as provided by Louisiana law. Montana residents, a Montana resident may cancel his or her consultant agreement within 15 days from the date of enrollment and may return his or her enrollment for a full refund within such time period. If a consultant wishes to bring an action against paparazzi for any act 
or omission relating to or arising from the agreement, such action must be brought within one year from the date of the alleged conduct giving rise to the cause of action or the shortest time permissible under state law. Failure to bring such action within such time shall bar all claims against paparazzi for such act or omission. Consultant waives all claims that any other statute of limitation applies. I authorize paparazzi to use my name, photograph, personal story, and or likeness in advertising or promotional materials and waive all claims for remuneration for such use. A faxed copy of the agreement as well as a digitally scanned copy or digitally displayed and agreed to shall be treated as an original in all aspects. Notice of right to cancel. You may cancel this transaction without any penalty or obligation within three business days from the above date, five business days for Alaska residents. If you cancel any property traded in, any payments made by you under the contract or sale, and any negotiable instrument executed to, by you will be returned within 10 business days following the receipt by the seller of your cancellation notice, and any security interest arising out of the transaction will be canceled. If you cancel, you must make available to the seller at your residence in substantially good condition as when received any goods delivered to you under this contract or sale. You may, if you wish, comply with the instructions of the seller regarding the return shipment of the goods at the seller's expense and risk. If you do not make the goods available to the seller and the seller does not pick them up, Within 20 days of the date of your notice of cancellation, you may return or dispose of the goods without any further obligation. Oh, sorry. You may retain or dispose of the goods without any further obligation. If you fail to make the goods available to the seller or if you agree to the return of the goods to the seller and fail to do so, then you remain liable for the performance of all obligations under the contract. To cancel this transaction, mail or deliver a signed and dated copy of this cancellation notice or any other written notice or send a telegram to Paparazzi 36 North 1000 West, Hurricane, Utah 84737, not later than midnight of the third business day following the date of your application. Okay, got it? There's going to be a test. <laughs> We're going to have a test. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's a lot of that in there. And you may have noticed that I had highlighted some passages in some places. Yeah. So we'll talk about that after we read the next bit. Yes, after we read the um, first three sections of the policies and procedures, effective September 1st, 2015, which was seven and a half years ago. Seven and a half years ago and three days at this point, okay? So what we're going to do right now is just take a little interlude because that was a lot of that was a lot of talking that was a lot of reading that was a lot of the whole thing and what we're gonna do is just take us just take an interlude okay and we're gonna think about it we're gonna listen to a little bit of music for a minute okay and auntie will be with you and when I come back we will all be rejuvenated by the beautiful music we have heard.
Are we are we unmuted now? Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry, I could have actually gone for another round of the bongos, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So let us look at the policies and procedures. We are going through sections one through three. Okay. Yes, so this is the policies and procedures. This is a document incorporated by reference into the independent consultant agreement, okay? It's, it's just too much sometimes. Yes, so there were three documents imported, incorporated by reference into, let's see what they were. <laughs> I have, I have carefully read and agreed to comply with the paparazzi policies and procedures, the paparazzi marketing and compensation plan, which are incorporated into and made a part of the terms and conditions. These three documents shall be collectively referred to as the agreement. Okay, so the next one that we're going to read is the first three sections of policies and procedures. And it, it becomes part of the agreement. So I want to make clear to you, at the point here where you are signing up, okay, you're signing up as a consultant. The only thing you know, the only thing you know at this point is what I have just read to you. You don't know anything else. The policies and procedures and the compensation and marketing plan are not available to you yet. Until you click, I agree to the terms and check out and pay your money. Okay, so you got the three day window um, for remorse in the enrollment terms and conditions document, but you don't know anything else. You have not yet seen what I am now going to share with you, okay? Policies and procedures effective September 1st, 2015. Section one, the paparazzi mission statement to bring strength, independence, and empowerment to individuals and their families by building confidence in financial freedom through affordable fashion. While $5 jewelry may not change the world, we believe those who wear it will. Section 2. Introduction. 2.1. Independent Consultant Agreement. The Independent Consultant Agreement comprises of the following items, any formal agreement to such independent consultant agreement or any action representing paparazzi as an independent consultant, consultant or paparazzi consultant or independent consultant through the purchase of a product at wholesale price, participation of the compensation plan or the retail of any paparazzi product constitutes an agreement to abide by the following articles. The independent consultant agreement, the policies and procedures, this document, and the paparazzi compensation plan. I'm going to read that part one more time. Constitutes an agreement to abide by the following articles. A. The independent consultant agreement. B. The policies and procedures, this document. This document, this document, the paparazzi compensation plan. When referring to the consultant agreement or agreement, it is referring to all of the documents and components as described above. All independent consultants of paparazzi carry the responsibility to read all components of the agreement and to be compliant with all aspects of said agreement. When sponsoring or enrolling a new independent consultant into paparazzi, 
It is likewise their responsibility to become familiar with said agreement and components thereof before signing the independent consultant agreement or enrolling through an online form. It is the responsibility of all sponsoring consultants to inform their new enrollments of the existence of these agreements and that by enrolling as an independent consultant, they are bound by such agreements. In this document or any component of the agreement, when referring to paparazzi as a corporate structure and any entities incorporated therein, they will be referred to by either company or paparazzi. Consultant will determine the method, details, and means of performing the services under the agreement. Consultant shall take general direction from paparazzi and abide by the policies and procedures set forth herein. Consultant enters into this agreement as and shall continue to be an independent contractor. Under no circumstances shall the consultant look to paparazzi as an employer nor as a partner, agent, or principal. Consultant shall have no authority as agent or otherwise to act in the name of or on behalf of the company or to bind the company to any contract, agreement, or other arrangement whatsoever. Consultant shall not be entitled to any benefits accorded to the company's employees, including pension plan, contributions, workers' compensation, unemployment insurance, medical or disability insurance, vacation, or sick pay. 2.2. Purpose of the Policies and Procedures The purpose of this agreement and these policies and procedures is to define the relationship between an independent consultant, other independent consultants, and or the company and to clearly articulate the expected behavior and acceptable business conduct of all parties involved. By agreeing to the independent consultant agreement and its components, the independent consultant is required to comply with it and its components, as well as with all federal, state, and local laws governing the independent consultant's business activities. If there are are any questions in relation to the independent consultant agreement, all independent consultants have their sponsor and the paparazzi support staff available to them for assistance. 2.3. Changes to the agreement. Paparazzi reserves the right to amend the agreement and any or all of its components, as well as its prices and commissionable volume levels, at its sole and absolute discretion by executing or agreeing to the consultant agreement or any of its components a consultant agrees to abide by all amendments or modifications that paparazzi elects to make amendments shall be effective upon notice or a reasonable attempt to notify to all consultants that the agreement or any of its components have been modified Notification of amendments shall be published in any official capacity by paparazzi. Paparazzi shall provide or make available to all consultants a complete copy of the amended provisions by one or more of the following methods. 1. Posting on the company's official website. 2. Electronic mail email. 3. Inclusion in any company publications. 4 posting in the consultant's virtual back office, or five, any special mailings. The continuation of a consultant's paparazzi business ac activity, purchases, or sale of a paparazzi product, as well as any acceptance of bonuses or commissions, constitutes acceptance and agreements of any and all amendments to the agreement, and any of its components and the updated documents in their entirety. If any amendments or modifications to this agreement are not acceptable to the consultant, they have 30 days from the agreement's original publication date to notify the company and request the termination of their consultant agreement. 2.4. 
business delays beyond paparazzi's control. Paparazzi is not responsible for any or all delays or failures in the performance of its obligations when such performance is made commercially impact impractical due to circumstances beyond its reasonable control. This includes, without limitation, strikes, labor difficulties, riot, war, fire, natural disasters, death, curtailment of a party's sources of supply, or government decrees or orders. This also applies to third-party vendors of paparazzi and limitations within their services, including but not limited to delivery of packages or product or any other feature, function, or service that is not expressly within the company's control. 2.5. Invalid or unenforceable policies. If any part of the agreement is held to be invalid or unenforceable, only that invalid or unenforceable portion may be removed and the remainder of the agreement shall remain intact and in force. 2.6. Compliance Enforcement The company never gives up its right to insist on the independent consultant's compliance with the agreement and with the applicable laws governing the conduct of a business. No failure of paparazzi to exercise any right or power under the agreement or to insist upon strict compliance by a consultant with any obligation or provision of the agreement and no custom or practice of the parties at variance with the terms of this agreement shall constitute a waiver of paparazzi's right to demand exact compliance with the agreement or any components thereof. Waiver by paparazzi can be effectuated only in writing by an authorized officer of the company. Paparazzi's waiver of this any particular breach by a consultant shall not affect or impair paparazzi's rights with respect to any subsequent breach, nor shall it in any way the right nor shall it affect in any way the rights or obligations of any other consultant nor shall any delay or omission by paparazzi to exercise any right arising from a breach affect or impair paparazzi's rights as to that or any subsequent breach the existence of any claim or cause of action of a consultant against paparazzi shall not con constitute a defense to paparazzi's enforcement of any term or provision of the agreement. Any action or enforcement taken by paparazzi in relation to a compliance issue will be addressed solely between paparazzi and the parties involved. There is no requirement of notification to any other parties as to the outcome of such an investigation. Section 3. Becoming a Consultant Requirements to Become a Consultant 3.1 Requirements to Become a Consultant to become a paparazzi consultant, each applicant must A. Be of the age of majority in your state of residence or 18 years of age. B. Reside in the United States. C. Have a valid social security number or federal tax ID number, EIN. D. Read and agree to abide by the company's consultant agreement and all components therein. E. Purchase one of the starter kit options. F. Complete and submit physically or electronically an independent consultant application and agreement to paparazzi. New consultants may enroll online through the company's official website or an independent consultant's personal replicated website. An application with any secured or protected information such as social security number or employer identification number and credit card information represents the personal application and agreement for such actions from the principle of such secured information. 
An existing paparazzi consultant must not fill out, sign, or accept the agreement on behalf of another paparazzi consultant. Paparazzi reserves the right to reject or deny any new consultant agreement or application and or to reject any agreement after its execution for any violation of policy is documented by this agreement. 3.2. One consultant business per household vested interest. To uphold the nature of the paparazzi compensation plan, only one consultant business may be open per household. This includes only having one executed consultant agreement per family, married couple, or live-in resident of the domicile. A corporation or business is also considered a single unit, household, or domicile for the purpose of this agreement. This restriction also includes the limitation that no consultant can have a vested interest in more than one consultant's business or paparazzi account, including but not limited to order placing account management or any interest or action in a position with the paparazzi genealogy, which may define, enhance, or create an increase in commissions as a result. 3.3 consultant enrollment fee. To enroll, a paparazzi consultant must purchase one of three starter kit options. A. Preview pack, $99. B. Small home party starter kit, $299. C. Large home party starter kit, $499. The starter kit purchase price also includes the cost of associated the cost associated with the data creation of their account within the consultant management software package supports the costs associated with account management and service provides the licensing of the paparazzi name as an independent consultant and creates a financial investment in association with the adherence to the agreement once the enrollment process has been completed Paparazzi consultants are free to use the paparazzi brand, see Section 5, in the distribution of their paparazzi inventory and to purchase the paparazzi product at a discounted wholesale price, see Section 3.4. 3.4. Consultant Benefits After an independent consultant application, an agreement has successfully been completed and accepted by paparazzi all the benefits from the paparazzi program, including the product offering, marketing materials, and compensation plan, are available to the consultant. These benefits include the ability to purchase paparazzi accessories and products at wholesale price, b. the ability to retail paparazzi accessories with the intention of earning a retail profit from the sale thereof. C. The ability to hold house parties, larger parties, or promote larger shows under paparazzi name as an independent consultant. D. The ability to participate in paparazzi compensation plan, receive bonuses and commissions if eligible. E. The ability to sponsor other independent consultants. F. The ability to receive paparazzi training and communication. G. The ability to participate in paparazzi-sponsored events, services, trainings, motivational functions, and recognition programs. H. The ability to participate in any promotional or incentive contests and programs sponsored by paparazzi for its consultants. 3.5. Certain types of corporations or businesses can apply to be
and we're back and it's gone and we're done reading. Oh my goodness. Let's take a sip of water. We need some water. Ooh, that was a lot of reading. That's a lot of talking. Oh, good evening. Hello. Oh, let me take one more sip of water, okay? Okay. So there were a couple of things that struck me strongly. They're, they're, the mentioning of what the consultant agreement is, is two different sets of documents in the you know what we're just going to we're just going to do this like a regular word document we're just going to do this like a regular word document So it, it's a it's a bit difficult because whoever crafted these documents and it looks like it may have been a lawyer, it may not have been a lawyer because some of the legal formatting and and terminology is uh, not quite what you would expect of a well practiced attorney. Could just be Utah. Yes, I said it. Could just be Utah. This is enrollment terms and conditions. Okay, this is enrollment terms and conditions. This is all you know when you first sign up. That's all you know. You don't know the names of all these other things. And then <clears throat> when you agree to the terms and conditions, you're clicking a box that says, I agree to the enrollment terms and conditions as presented here. And there is an asterisk there. I don't know what it's for. And then I have called this enrollment terms and conditions. In section four of enrollment terms and conditions, it says policies and procedures, the paparazzi marketing compensation plan, which are incorporated into and made part of these terms and conditions these three documents shall be collectively referred to as the agreement. Okay, so it's it's the T's and C's include policies and procedures and the paparazzi marketing compensation plan. So then we go down into the policies and procedures. Form. Let me see. It is referring to all of the documents and components as described above. Yes. So here it says that, that the independent consultant agreement, agreement comprises of the following items. Any formal agreement to such independent consultant agreement or any action representing paparazzi as an independent consultant consultant or paparazzi consultant or independent consultant through the purchase of product at wholesale price participate participation of the compensation plan or the retail of any paparazzi product constitutes an agreement to abide by the following articles independent consultant agreement now i haven't seen a document called the independent consultant agreement so this is why i'm saying i'm not sure a lawyer actually put this together the policies and procedures, this document, this document, the policies and procedures, that's correct, and the paparazzi compensation plan. In the terms and conditions document, in the enrollment terms and conditions, it's the paparazzi marketing and compensation plan. So here under section under section 2.1a the independent consultant agreement girl this does not exist 
Okay, let me highlight that. What happened to you? Come back here. Now we're going to highlight that. That does not exist. The policies and procedures, that's this document. The paparazzi compensation plan should be and marketing, paparazzi marketing and compensation plan. I'm not going to. A conflict between what the policies and procedures say and what the enrolling terms and conditions said on how changes to this agreement would be handled and communicated. For example, in the enrolling terms and conditions, it said that the agree changes in the agreement would be in effect 30 days after the changes were duly noticed on the website of paparazzi. This says it will be executing consultant agrees to buy notification. Let me do any of it. Agreements. Amendments shall be effective upon notice or a reasonable attempt to notify to all consultants that the agreement or any of its components have been modified. So in the enrollment terms and conditions, it said that changes would go into effect 30 days after the notice on the paparazzi website. This is now saying that amendments shall be effective upon notice. So which is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We need legal people in here. We need we need legal peoples. Let me see what else we had. Business delays beyond paparazzi's control. That's going to be at least for 2020 and 2021. That is going to be at least one episode, and if I can, I'm going to get some uh, current and or former paparazzi consultants in here. We, we're just going to discuss all that, because I got receipts, girl. I got receipts. I got receipts. This all applies to party, third-party vendors, invalid or unenforceable parties. <laughs> It, this was it. This was different in the enrollment terms and conditions document as well. If any part of the agreement is held to be invalid or unenforceable, only that invalid or unenforceable portion may be removed, and the remainder of the agreement shall remain intact and in force. 
that's not the way it was phrased um, from a legal perspective. That is not the way it was phrased in the enrollment terms and conditions. And you cannot always just do that. Sometimes if you, if a court judgment or a lawyer or um, a Supreme Court ruling comes down or a new regulation from the Federal Trade Commission under which paparazzi accessories, the corporate entity, the company, the paparazzi is governed by the Federal Trade Commission. If the Federal Trade Commission uh, issues a regulation affecting pieces that are relevant to the contracts and the policy and procedures, you can't necessarily just remove that language. You can't necessarily just strike it because as you see, there are pieces incorporated is incorporated by reference. You say C section 3.5, C section 3.2. So sometimes, and I'll even go out on the limb here, almost every time there is something that is so important to the Federal Trade Commission or the Supreme Court or a court in a judgment against you is so important that it's going to affect more than you can't just strike that language. You can't just, you can't just, you can't just strike that language like that. And the remainder of the agreement shall remain intact and in force. You can't promise that. You can't say, ah, I don't know. This is this one of the pieces that makes me think either a lawyer didn't put this document together, a lawyer didn't review this document, or this is meant to make uneducated people or people who are uneducated in the law. They may be educated in many things, but the law at this level in contracts and regulations and regulatory structures is not something that they're educated in. Very few people are. So I don't know. I don't know which is the case. The company never gives up its right to insist. So this is compliance enforcement. This is what Auntie was the most interested in, but we need to see um, section four in order to go through this. Okay. Cause it's all, it all works together, girl. It all works together. Becoming a consultant. New consultants may enroll through the company's official website, so on and so on. I need to fix this. I apologize. <laughs> We're just going to take a moment. We're just going to take a moment. I... Okay, this is a piece, 3.7, Maintaining Consultant Status. This is the big lie, the number one big lie in paparazzi, the number one big lie in paparazzi is maintaining consultant status. And I believe it's unintentional. I believe that people just parrot the information that is brought down to them. And you, it's just easier to parrot the information than it is to go into the back office or into your paparazzi business directory folder on your computer and actually look. Okay, main, what we are told, and I thought it was odd the first time I heard it. So, Guess what auntie did? Auntie went and looked at the damn contract, right? <sighs> the big lie that we're told by our, from our uplines is that you have to order 
50 PV of jewelry every month to be compli to be maintaining your consultant status. You can, and this, you know, if you're, if your business is struggling or if you're busy or if your sales are slumped, you are told by your upline, <laughs> we're just going to, we're, we're going to take this out. This is the big lie. If you are told by your upline that in order to be, I want to see, I, I need to look at this. This is the big lie told to us by the upline. They tell us if we want to maintain our consultant status as active, every month we have to purchase 50 PV, which is personal volume. PV is the measurement by which everything, commission, everything is calculated. You must maintain a monthly purchase of 50 PV, that is 25 pieces of jewelry, or uh, a different number of, that is, that is 25 pieces of $5 fashion jewelry. It's a different calculation for Z collection pieces. 50, 50 PV a month to maintain your active consultant status. That's what we're told. It's not what the contract says. Okay, let's let's go to the contract. After the initial application process, maintaining an independent consultant status and placement within the paparazzi commission tree structure is contingent upon the following things. Be in good standing, order or accumulate at least 200 PV of inventory within the previous 12 consecutive calendar months. Okay, that's not 50 PV a month. 200 PV in a year is not 50 PV a month. That is the number one big lie that we are told by our uplines. Where the 50 PV comes into play is to have your photo, your name, and your contact information in the consultant search function of the paparazzi website at paparazziaccessories.com. That's where the 50 PV per month comes into play. It doesn't say 50 PV per month anywhere in this document. Anywhere. It doesn't say 50 PV in this document anywhere. It doesn't say per month in this document anywhere. Look at the document. It's not in there. Okay? So, otherwise, it's pretty easy to, to, com to stay in compliance with, with the policies, agreements, and components thereof. Otherwise, it's pretty easy to stay up to date on invoices, owing balances, or retractions. That's like if you get overpaid a commission. Uh, I don't know why you wouldn't be up to date on any invoices because you ain't getting nothing. You ain't paid. You haven't processed that credit card correctly. Then you're not getting anything. So I don't know why be up to date on any invoices it comes into play here, but it does. Yeah, so that's that's kind of sticking. That's kind of sticking on me. And then let's just take a brief look at um. Let's just take a brief look at what section four is going to be. We can go back to view because this is not attractive. But I needed to see it in the other in the other view for just a minute. Yeah. 
Section four is going to be consultant relationship with paparazzi. Independent contractor status. This really is tax and benefits kind of stuff. This is not. See, there you go. There you go. Look, income taxes. I know. Okay, so that's what that's going to be. Oh, let's let's keep going. The, the rest of this document is a mess. Request for records. Roll up of the downline organization. This is your pyramid. Sale, or tra sale transfer or assignment of a paparazzi business or position. You can do it, but there's a way that you need to be doing it. I've not cleaned up the rest of the contract. Indemnification. Where do we go? Yeah, it, it gets harsh in Section 4. Let's see what we have in Section 5. Consultant support and responsibilities to retail customers. Girl, I, I don't have any question about whether or not I am in compliance there. I am definitely in compliance there. Paparazzi right to data. Disparaging rem Here we go. That's, that's going to get juicy. Consultants may not use disparaging remarks in relation to paparazzi, corporate staff, employees, directors, officers, or any other representative of paparazzi, including but not limited to other independent consultants. Consultants are to conduct their business with positivity and in a manner that uplifts everyone. Comments made by consultants that may be negative in nature and relate to others potentially damage their own business the business of others, and the paparazzi brand. Because, girl, that's what it's all about. Because I know I got my brand. Okay, so I know I'm not, I'm not going to be critical at all about that. Consultants should be courteous, polite, and always seek an amic amicable resolution to any disagreement or dispute. Yeah, that's going to be good. Section 5, operating a pop. So that's really the meat of what I'm looking at, but we need to, to look at and have some knowledge of the underlying situation. Okay? Consultant logo to... Oh, wait. Consultant may create and then sell, distribute, or promote any items with the independent consultant logo to other consultants, members of their teams, or anyone else. See, and we're not told that. We're not told that. We're told quite the opposite by our uplines. Yeah, that's interesting. Online activity. Retailing or reselling. That's what we're here for, girl. We're here for the money. Recurring or enrolling promotions. Oh, sorry. Recruiting or enrolling promotions. Okay, that's like, bring me more people. Parties, fairs, expositions, and other temporary sales fora. See, they say forums here. It's not forums. It's fora. Girl, this, this is what makes me think that this was not reviewed by a lawyer. It may have been drawn up by a junior attorney. But it certainly was not reviewed by a contract manager. Because a lot of in legal work... A lot of it is it's contract managers or it's paralegals that put the contract together or the policies and procedures or the terms and conditions. But it's a contract manager who does not have to be a licensed attorney. It's a contract manager who actually reviews the document. Change of sponsor or placement. I got some things to say about that, girl. Non-solicitation. Consultants may not participate in other direct selling opportunities. You don't even know. That's going to be a whole different situation. Oh my goodness, there's so many opportunities. You're going to have so many questions. Downline activity reports. Cross-sponsoring. Oh, oh, it's such juicy stuff. And maybe you don't know what those words mean, or maybe you see the words and they don't mean anything to you. If you are, if you are a consultant and you don't know these things, if you're a former consultant and you learn these things the hard way, my heart really goes out to you. 
my heart really goes out to you. And I hope you don't feel bad about not knowing. Do not feel bad. Don't, please don't feel bad. I think this is put together in such a way that I'm not surprised you may not have known. And maybe you had to find out the hard way. I am so sorry for you. If you are looking at becoming a paparazzi independent consultant or involving yourself in any multi-level marketing organization, these are the things you want to check on. These are the things you want to read and then see. And if I had memorized this document when I first started in such a way that I have memorized it now, there would have been a different course for me. I know you see how I had to, I had to tap dance on that one. <laughs> I had to tap dance on that one because I want to stay compliant. I don't want to say anything bad. Yeah, I know. Continuing leadership. What else do we have? Oh, this one. This is, this is the part, what is, what clause is this called? 63, 6.3, 6.3, continuing leadership. This is the section of the policies and procedures that requires your upline to rat on you. Mm-hmm, it's a thing, that's how I lost that's how I lost my, my upline, my sponsor, her upline, her sponsor. So that's how I lost my third level up. Her own upline ratted her out and got her canceled, girl. It's real. It is real. You don't even want to know. Adherence to Hostess Rewards Program? That's just crazy. Oh, this is going to be so good. I'm so excited. I, ha I have a future. <laughs> I have a future on YouTube. Holding or, holding or manipulation of enrollments or orders. A consultant must never hold or manipulate the timing of an independent consultant's enrollment or order. Doing so will result in the conclusion that such actions are in conjunction with bonus buying. See section 5.19. And will be subject to a compliance review. Doing so also postpones the activity of the independent consultant and can damper an opportunity for them to succeed. Girl, do you not know that this happens every day? Every day? Every month, every month. Oh, girl. Actions of household members. I know. I'm not a consultant. My mom is. I'm not a consultant. My wife is. Yeah, well, your spouse and your kid and your mom and your dog, they're all bound. In section 6.12, actions of household members. We're going to continue to talk about commissions again that I'm not going to go through because I never had a downline. I just, I wasn't, I was in it to survive on sales. I was not in it to build a pyramid underneath me, even though I know that's how you make the money. That's not what I wanted to do. Compensation plan calculations, payment and sales tax. Sales tax, sales tax, sales tax. Warranties, guarantees, returns, and repurchases. Purchase policy, return policy. Those hostess rewards again. Oh my gosh. Inventory buyback. In the event that a consultant wishes to terminate their account, 
and request that any remaining inventory be purchased back by paparazzi only unused, not previously displayed, unopened, never previously worn, and only those with the original paparazzi tags would be considered for inventory buyback. Items that don't carry PV are not eligible for buyback. In such an event, the inventory buyback, as a result of the changing world of fashion, will be at a discounted rate of $2 per acceptable unit price, with a retracted 2 PV for each unit. Acceptable pieces will be determined at the sole discretion of paparazzi and only after review and inspection upon the return. An RMA number issued and approved by paparazzi support is required prior to any inventory buyback returns taking place or the inventory buyback will not be honored. The full accumulation of the return product volume will be retracted from the organization as in section 7.4 and the most recent commissions which have been earned by the terminating consultant may be retracted or removed from the returning funds as a result of the retracting volume which may have qualified them within the compensation plan for previous awarded bonuses oh my gosh okay i don't remember I don't, I don't remember ever reading that part. So we will stop scrolling through there because Auntie's just as pleased as Punch and Tickledy D, Tickledy D, Tickledy D, Tickle Tickle Tickle. tickle. I'm that Auntie. I'm that Auntie. I'm that Auntie. I'm that Auntie. Hear me roar. Okay. Diddly do and Tickledy D. Okay. I know. So with that, we will call it a night. I want to thank my viewers. I want to thank everybody who um, is watching the replay. If you are watching the replay, please comment. Hashtag replay. Let me know you were here, okay? I love you all, and I will see you in the next episode of Playing Auntie. Okay, good night. Three point one requirements to become a consultant. To become a paparazzi consultant, each applicant must a be of age of majority in your state of residence or eighteen years of age, b reside in the United States, c have a valid social security number or federal tax ID number EIN, d read and agree to abide by the company's consultant agreement and all components therein. E. Purchase one of the starter kit options. F. Complete and submit physically or electronically an independent consultant application and agreement to paparazzi. New consultants may enroll online through the company's official website or an independent consultant's personal replicated website. An application with any secured or protected information such as social security number or employer identification number and credit card information represents the personal application and agreement for such actions from the principle of such secured information. An existing paparazzi consultant must not fill out, sign, or accept the agreement on behalf of another paparazzi consultant. Paparazzi reserves the right to reject or deny any new consultant agreement or application and or to reject any agreement after its execution for any violation of policy as documented by this agreement. 3.2 one consultant business per household vested interest. 
To uphold the nature of the paparazzi compensation plan, only one consultant business may be open per household. This includes only having one executed consultant agreement per family, married couple, or live-in resident of the domicile. A corporation or business is also considered a single unit, household, or domicile for the purpose of this agreement. This restriction also includes the limitation that no consultant can have a vested interest in more than one consultant's business or paparazzi account, including but not limited to order placing, account management, or any interest or action in a position with the paparazzi genealogy which may define, enhance, or create an increase in commissions as a result. 3.3 Consultant Enrollment Fee to enroll, a paparazzi consultant must purchase one of three starter kit options. A. Preview Pack, $99. B. Small Home Party Starter Kit, $299. C. Large Home Party Starter Kit, $499. The starter kit purchase price also includes the cost associated with the data creation of their account within the consultant management software package, supports the costs associated with account management and service, provides the licensing of the paparazzi name as an independent consultant, and creates a financial investment in association with the adherence to the agreement. Once the enrollment process has been completed, paparazzi consultants are free to use the paparazzi brand, C-Section 5 in the distribution of their paparazzi inventory and to purchase the paparazzi product at a discounted wholesale price. See Section 3.4. Section 3.4. Consultant Benefits. After an independent consultant application and agreement has successfully been completed and accepted by paparazzi, all the benefits from the paparazzi program, including the product offering, marketing materials, and compensation plan, are available to the consultant. These benefits include A, the ability to purchase paparazzi accessories and products at wholesale price. B, the ability to retail paparazzi accessories with the intention of earning a retail profit from the sale thereof. C, the ability to hold house parties, larger parties, or promote larger shows under the paparazzi name as an independent consultant. D, the ability to participate in the paparazzi compensation plan, receive bonuses and commissions if eligible. E, the ability to sponsor other paparazzi independent consultants. F, the ability to receive paparazzi training and communication. G, the ability to participate in paparazzi sponsored events, services, trainings, motivational functions, and recognition programs. H, the ability to participate in any promotional or incentive contests and programs sponsored by paparazzi for its consultants. 3.5. Business Entities Certain types of corporations or businesses can apply to be a paparazzi independent consultant through the Independent Consultant Agreement. Business entities are allowed to retail their product through any medium available to them, internet, retail store, etc. As long as the retail or sales price to the end consumer is never lower, advertised or otherwise, than the suggested retail price per unit, $5 USD. Any exceptions to the suggested retail price offering must be approved in writing by an authorized officer of paparazzi and will only be considered for show events. This is in an effort to protect the business of all independent consultants. During the registration process, all policies still apply that are applicable from the agreement. All persons, including consultants, principals, and employees of the corporation or business entity are held to the vested interest clause in section 3.2. 3.6, identification. During the application process, the independent consultant must provide a social security number or a federal identification number to paparazzi. Once the application is submitted and accepted, paparazzi will assign a unique consultant identification number. This will be used as a primary identifier of the consultant account within paparazzi support, online applications, 
the tracking of orders, packages and commissions, processing and payments. These IDs and other identifying numbers should not be shared with others. 3.7 Maintaining Consultant Status After the initial application process, maintaining an independent consultant status and placement within the paparazzi commission tree structure is contingent upon the following things. A. Adhering to and maintaining all published policies, agreements, and components thereof be in good standing. B. Order or accumulate at least 200 PV of inventory within the previous 12 consecutive calendar months. C. Be up to date on any invoices, owing balances, or retractions. If at any point any of the items documented above are not maintained, the account will be terminated and the position will be removed from the commission tree structure. At this point, the consultant will lose all claim, rights, and privileges associated with the former position or account. If at any point a terminated consultant wishes to re-engage as a consultant of paparazzi in good standing, the individual may reapply and pending approval will be re-enrolled into the organization. Reapplying consultants will not be placed in previous locations within the commission tree or gain any of their former privileges associated with their former position. 3.8 Qualifications for Inclusion in Consultant Search In order for a consultant to be included in the consultant search function on the corporate website, that consultant must have been active the prior month. To be considered active is to have accumulated or purchased at least 50 PV of inventory within that month. Eligible consultants are chosen at random in the search results and will not be listed in any particular order even if they meet the qualifications. Section 4. Consultant Relationship with Paparazzi 4.1. Independent Contractor Status When a consultant joins Paparazzi, they are an independent consultant or independent contractor. They do not purchase a franchise or business opportunity and the agreement between the independent consultant and paparazzi does not create an employer-employee relationship, partnership, or joint venture. As a result, the independent consultant is solely responsible for paying all local, state, and federal taxes owed from any compensation earned in the form of retail profits retained at the sale of all product or the bonus commission plan offered by paparazzi. Paparazzi will not withhold any FICA taxes of any kind from any commission or bonuses paid out. Independent consultants are in complete control of the means by which they operate their paparazzi business. They will establish their own goals, hours, parties, shows, and methods of sale within compliance with this agreement and applicable laws. They are solely responsible for paying all taxes incurred in the development of their business and are not authorized to incur any debt or obligation on behalf of or in the name of paparazzi or other consultants or to open any financial account on behalf of, for, or in the name of paparazzi. The success of their paparazzi business is the sole responsibility of the independent consultant. 4.2. Income Taxes as an independent contractor, independent consultants will receive an IRS Form 1099 non-employee compensation earnings statement if they are a U.S. resident that has earnings of over $600 paid from paparazzi in the previous calendar year. The independent consultant is solely responsible for paying local, state, and federal taxes on any income generated as an independent consultant. A copy of all IRS Form 1099s that are generated as a result of the criteria above will be remitted and sent to the United States Internal Revenue Service for the applicable tax year. If at any point the federal tax information, name, social security number, EIN, etc., provided by the independent consultant is wrong or contains an error, paparazzi may hold all future earnings until the error is rectified within paparazzi's records and the correction is remitted to the IRS. In these circumstances, pending the severity of the error, the consultant may be subject to be liable for any fines incurred by excessive errors submitted to the IRS. 
4.3 Reporting Errors If at any time an independent consultant feels that there is an error made by paparazzi in regards to data display, volume accumulation, commission calculation, order delivery, tree placement of consultants, or any other error, the consultant has 30 days to notify paparazzi in writing or when the purported error or incident occurred. Failure to do so will waive paparazzi's liability to correct, rectify, or make any adjustments for the issue in question. 4.4 Limitations of Liability By signing or agreeing to the independent consultant agreement or any component thereof, the consultant agrees to release, discharge, and hold harmless paparazzi and anyone directly affiliated with paparazzi, employees, officers, etc., from any loss or damages, including costs and fees incurred or suffered by you as a result of A. The independent contractor's breach of the agreement, including these policies. B. The improper promotion or operation of the paparazzi opportunity, business, or related activities. C. Any incorrect data or information provided by a consultant to paparazzi. D. Any incorrect data or display information displayed by the virtual back office. E. The consultant's failure to provide any information to paparazzi that may be necessary for paparazzi to operate its business. Or F. The consultant's failure to execute their personal business strategy. 4.5. Request for records. A consultant's request for physical copies of invoices applications, download reports, or other records will require review and approval by the compliance department and will be subject to a $1 charge per page as well as any applicable shipping charges. 4.6 Roll-up of downline organization When a vacancy occurs in a downline organization due to the voluntary termination of a paparazzi business, all consultants or positions shift up one level in order to fill that vacancy within the organization or commission tree. This process and the removal of the terminated position is at the sole discretion and approval of the company and may take up to three months to review. Roll-up of downline organization may not be approved in circumstances where there is any manipulation in the roll-up or termination process or there's a significant rank advancement or commission increase that will occur as a result of such roll-up. In circumstances where roll-up of the downline organization is not approved, the vacant position will still be terminated and will remain empty until the company deems necessary. When an account is terminated involuntarily by the company, for any reason and the original position had generated a total commission earning in excess of $50, the position will not be removed from the organization and the preceding downline will not be rolled up. This is due to the potential consequences as detailed above in such moves. The position will remain there but be deemed inactive. As a result of compression in the co paparazzi compensation plan, it is anticipated that this activity will not negatively affect commission payout through the Unilevel program. However, it will keep organizational leg structure intact and minimize potential manipulation within the organization. 4.7 Sale, Transfer, or Assignment of a Paparazzi Business or Position Although your paparazzi business is privately owned and independently operated, the sale, transfer, or assignment of it is subject to certain limitations and corporate approval. If you wish to sell your paparazzi business or position within the organization structure, you must receive written authorization from the company, and the company has first right to purchase the position. In order to sell, transfer, or assign a paparazzi business, the following criteria must be met. The line of sponsorship must always be maintained and the business must continue on. B. The organization must be protected and an agreement must be signed from the departing consultant that it will be protected for the next 24 months after the transaction, resulting in no contact, recruiting, or cross-recruiting. C. 
The departing consultant agrees not to enroll as a paparazzi consultant for a period of no less than 12 months or as a consultant or distributor for any network marketing or direct sales company for a period of no less than six months. D. The purchasing agent must not currently be or have been a consultant for the previous 12 months. E. He or she must be new to paparazzi. F. The purchasing agent must enroll through the transaction as a new consultant signing the agreement and a new account created. G. No history is transferable, only the position and location and tree. H. Before the sale is finalized, it must be brought to paparazzi's attention for approval. I. All participants must have been in good standing for the previous 12 months. J. A $250 transfer fee must be paid prior to the approved transfer being processed. Paparazzi reserves the right to deny the transfer or sale of any organization at its sole discretion, request additional information or documentation. Upon approval or denial, paparazzi will give further directions or timeline associated with the decision. 4.8. Separation of a business. In circumstances where joint owners or partners of a single position or paparazzi business no longer wish to continue the business relationship due to separation or divorce, there must be a way to equitably continue the business as a single entity in its current location while minimizing any impact to any other business owners which may be formally or informally associated with the business in question. If such an action is not possible, then paparazzi will involuntarily terminate the consultant agreement and the position, account, or business entity will be terminated. During any business separation or divorce proceedings, the following options are available in which paparazzi will support. A. One party with the consent of the other continues to operate the business pursuant to the agreement. All claimants on the position will deal directly with the party selected and paparazzi will deal and respond only to the selected account operator. B. The parties may continue to operate the account as joint owners and partners. In the event that the parties cannot come to a resolve for the dispute, paparazzi will terminate the consultant agreement and execute its right to either terminate the position or take control of the account. 4.9 Transfer upon death of a consultant. To effect a transfer upon the death of a consultant, the claimant will need to provide the following. A. Copy of the death certificate. B. Notarized letter or legal instrument establishing the rightful successor. And C. Completion of a new consultant agreement. 4.10. Indemnification. A consultant is fully responsible for all of his or her verbal and written actions or statements made regarding paparazzi products and the paparazzi marketing and compensation opportunities that are not expressly contained within official paparazzi materials. Consultants agree to indemnify paparazzi and paparazzi's directors, officers, agents, and employees and hold them harmless from any liability, including judgment, civil penalties, refunds, attorney's fees, court costs, or lost business incurred by paparazzi as a result of the consultant's unauthorized representations or actions. This provision shall survive the termination of the agreement. 4.11. Claims. Consultants may not make any claims in relation to the product or income generated by paparazzi. 4.12. Consultant support and responsibilities to retail customers. The paparazzi support team provides services for enrolled or enrolling paparazzi independent consultants. Paparazzi support also offers services to retail customers of paparazzi consultants who make online purchases through the official paparazzi website. Consultants are responsible for providing support and services for their customers who purchase directly from them. 4.13 Paparazzi right to data. Paparazzi reserves the right to store acquired data from the consultant. 
They also maintain the right to own, share, or display such data, excluding secure data within reasonable means to increase the business of the consultant or the offering of paparazzi. This right includes sharing contact information, general location information, success information, or other reasonable data through appropriate mediums such as paparazzi website, replicated sites, web-based communication, letters, telephone, or other accepted mediums of communication. Paparazzi commits to protect the integrity of such data to the full extent it is reasonably capable of doing and to avoid selling or distributing any sensitive information with organizations or persons that are in line with the mission and goals of paparazzi or that is in the reasonable welfare of their consultants. 4.14 Disparaging Remarks Consultants may not use disparaging remarks in relation to paparazzi corporate staff, employees, directors, officers, or any other representative of paparazzi, including but not limited to other independent consultants. Consultants are to conduct their business with positivity and in a manner that uplifts everyone. Comments made by consultants that may be negative in nature and relate to others potentially damage their own business the business of others, and the paparazzi brand. Consultants should be courteous, polite, and always seek an amicable resolution to any disagreement or dispute. Owners of social media sites, forums, blogs, or community pages are responsible to ensure that all messaging and content by contributors to those pages remain positive, uplifting, and supportive of the paparazzi business, operators, consultants, and programs. All comments made on any such sites are the sole responsibility of the owner to monitor and any violation or disparaging comments made on such forums will also be the responsibility of the site owner or manager as if they were made by them directly. 4.15 Paparazzi Code of Conduct Paparazzi consultants are expected to present themselves in a manner that is representative of the clean and uplifting culture of paparazzi. This includes, but is not limited to, language, dress, appearance, and conduct. Paparazzi reserves the right to exclude any consultant from any event for violation of this code. Section 5. Operating a Paparazzi Business 5.1. Adherence to the Paparazzi Marketing and Compensation Plan Consultants must adhere to all published Paparazzi Marketing and Compensation Plan literature. Paparazzi consultants may not offer paparazzi products or opportunity in conjunction with any other system, program, or method of marketing other than that which is set forth in the published paparazzi marketing literature. Consultants may not enforce, require, or encourage customers or consultants to execute any agreement other than the official independent consultant agreement. 5.2 General Advertising Paparazzi consultants shall safeguard and promote the good reputation of paparazzi and its products. The marketing of paparazzi products, opportunity, compensation plan, and marketing shall be consistent with the public interest and must avoid all discourteous, deceptive, misleading, slanderous, unethical, or immoral conduct or practices. Any personalized promotional material or advertising attempt must be approved by paparazzi and its legal department to ensure that there are no claims or violations to the paparazzi trademark, namesake, or other legal issues. Consultants are not permitted at any time to make any income claims in relation to the paparazzi opportunity. All labels, trademarks, logos, names, or titles must include the title independent consultant prominent enough to easily identify that the consultant represents their own business and not paparazzi as a whole or as a corporation. 5.3 Use of Paparazzi Name Consultants may not use paparazzi name or any of its registered trademarks, names, services, or products in any personalized or personally owned businesses, web page addresses, email address domains, or internet domain registration. 
Consultants or anyone may not use paparazzi trademarks, designs, or symbols without its express prior written permission. Consultants may not record paparazzi-sponsored company events, speeches, conference calls, or any other event or function through any medium without the prior written consent from paparazzi. Consultants may only use the paparazzi name in casual communication, i.e. social media communication, online forums, blogs, email addresses, etc. Under the following considerations. 1. It is with the intention of building their paparazzi business. 2. When there are no plural terms used in the title of use of the paparazzi name so as to not represent a group of individuals. And 3. There is a specific individual identifier clearly indicating not only the use of it by an independent consultant, but which independent consultant is using the term, such as consultant identification number or name. 5.4. Paparazzi Brand At no time may a consultant relabel or remove the label of any paparazzi product for retail sale. Such relabeling or repackaging would violate this agreement and governing laws, which could result in severe criminal penalties. Civil liabilities may also result when the persons using the product suffer any type of injury or their property is damaged as a consequence of the repackaging or relabeling of products. Any media inquiries in relation to paparazzi must be responded to by paparazzi's communications department and corporate headquarters and consultants should not attempt to respond to any inquiries without express written permission to do so. 5.5. Use of the paparazzi logo. At no time can any consultant create or distribute any item or literature that contains the paparazzi logo and brand that was not created by paparazzi directly and distributed for that intended purpose. Independent consultants are free to use the paparazzi independent consultant logo, which is available to all consultants online, as long as they do not alter or distort the logo in any way. Consultants may make any tools or accessories necessary for them to build their business using the Paparazzi Independent Consultant logo for personal use or consumption. No consultant may create and then sell, distribute, or promote any items with the, with the Independent Consultant logo to other consultants, members of their teams, or anyone else. 5.6. Team Use of Consultant Logo and Team Services the only exception to using and reselling an item with the Paparazzi Independent Consultant logo that will be considered will be for the purpose of team use and only under the following conditions. 1. The consultant creating, designing, and reselling the item has proven themselves capable both financially and characteristically through building a successful organization and has achieved the rank of A-lister for a minimum of two consecutive months. 2. The qualified consultant has also formally agreed to all terms within the consultant licensing agreement, which can be requested once qualifications are met. 3. All items with the paparazzi logo use the paparazzi independent consultant logo and also include an additional team logo prominently displayed on the item. 4. All items are submitted and approved by paparazzi before they are produced, created, generated, and sold to the general public. 5. All items are to be tasteful and of quality. Paparazzi reserves the right to deny any design on the grounds of brand protection. Consultants may not charge other consultants or team members for any type of product, services, or training, material or immaterial, unless they have proved their ability to succeed with paparazzi by achieving the rank of A-lister for a minimum of two consecutive months and have the express written approval of paparazzi to do so through the approved licensing agreement. In the event where there is a personal or team brand or any other brand related to the business of a consultant, at no time may that brand be seen to circumvent, replace, overshadow, or supersede the paparazzi brand in any forum. 
which may include but not be limited to online activity, shows, or expositions, or any other related activity which is reasonably intended to build the paparazzi brand. 5.7. International Sales Consultants are only allowed to sell paparazzi products in opportunity within the United States and those countries that paparazzi has announced they are officially launched in. Currently only the United States, including Puerto Rico and Guam. 5.8. Consultant Release By agreeing to the agreement or any of its components, the independent consultant authorizes paparazzi to use their name, testimonials, likeness, or experiences in paparazzi advertising or promotional material with no remuneration. Further, any reproduction of any photos, images, testimonials, stories, conversations, or documentation that is created by paparazzi or provided to the company is also authorized for reproduction in any form without remuneration. 5.9. Unsolicited Communication Independent consultants may not initiate any unsolicited communication, faxes, emails, phone, etc. to anyone whom they are not personally aware of or to people they do not know. 5.10. Online Activity Independent consultants may not use any online forum, eBay, Classifieds, Craigslist, or any other online retail tool to bundle, distribute, or sell paparazzi products. Independent consultants are not allowed to use a mass emailer to, or generate spam for their paparazzi business. Social media or networking is permitted for the intention of developing a warm market or networking with current associates, but is not permitted for the direct sale or distribution of paparazzi product. Consultants are not allowed to recruit through any paparazzi corporate social media page or through any social media page that does not directly belong to that consultant. This also includes directly contacting someone through instant messages or emails that were found through a social media site not directly owned by that consultant. Violation of this policy can result in termination as potential consultants who are interested in doing paparazzi can quickly become disinterested through heavy online recruiting activities. Any and all online activity of consultants with the intention of promoting paparazzi must be appropriately designated as an independent consultant. In accordance to Section 5.13, paparazzi products must not be displayed or sold alongside any other products. This policy extends to all online forums, including but not limited to websites, shopping carts, and social media platforms. 5.11 Retailing or Reselling After the initial product or inventory is purchased, no product can be resold or retailed for less than the suggested retail price. No product under $5 US. This includes, but is not limited to, offering or advertising free items through Buy X, Get Y promotions or giving free gifts with purchase. This same policy applies whether the free promotional item being offered is a paparazzi product or a product not carried in paparazzi's inventory. Offering or advertising these types of promotions lowers the retail price of each piece sold below the required $5 US minimum. Doing so compromises the entire paparazzi program for all consultants. Any promotion of a consultant's independent business or the paparazzi opportunity through any channel of communication, public or private, is considered advertising. Additionally, giving away free items that are not sold by paparazzi can lead customers to the assumption that those items are part of paparazzi's product offering. As outlined in Section 5.13, offering Non-paparazzi products alongside paparazzi products compromises its good name and can lead to the paparazzi name and brand being associated with inferior products. Any exceptions to this policy must be authorized by an official paparazzi officer in writing prior to the sale or event. 5.12. Recruiting or Enrolling Promotions 
At no point may a consultant advertise or promote an enrolling or recruiting promotion in which the price or value of the enrollment process is discounted. This includes, but is not limited to, offering discounted starter kits, reimbursements, cash offers for enrollment, extra personal inventory, or anything else that is seen to increase the value or decrease the value of the enrollment process. This activity is often seen as an attempt to create an unfair advantage to other consultants. 5.13 Parties, Fairs, Expositions, and Other Temporary Sales Forums Parties, fairs, expositions, and other temporary sales forums represent good opportunities to both sell product and expose a population of people to the paparazzi lifestyle, culture, product, and business opportunity. Paparazzi does not have any control over the business practices or behaviors of the event organizers, hostess home environments, or managers at the event, and paparazzi has no intention of mediating within these environments. Therefore, paparazzi requests that all consultants who wish to participate in these activities adhere to the following and acknowledge the same throughout this agreement. A. All transactions are a cash and carry basis or through an independently established merchant account provider. Paparazzi will not process credit card charges or accept funds on behalf of an independent consultant unless at a paparazzi-sponsored event and such is permitted. Paparazzi does not issue or accept any liability for the decline of charges, chargebacks, lost cash, or any other transaction difficulties that may take place at such events. All transactions for retail product are the sole responsibility of the independent consultant. B. Paparazzi does not offer or accept any liability insurance for any home party, meeting, booth, bazaar, seminar, show, or any other event or sales location initiated by the independent consultant. Such events are the independent consultant's meetings and therefore all liabilities and ownership are the consultant's responsibility. C. Only one paparazzi booth is allowed per show or event. It is the consultant's responsibility to check with the show managers or promoters to ensure that there are no paparazzi consultants contracted before the space is contracted. D. Paparazzi show booths must exclusively offer paparazzi accessories. Paparazzi accessories may not be mixed with any other products or offerings within a show booth. E. The consultant must make it known to the show managers and promoters that he or she is a paparazzi consultant and that he or she can be the only paparazzi consultant present at the event. This must be done in writing. Failure to obtain written acknowledgement from the show manager or promoter that they understand this policy minimizes the consultant's ability to mediate any potential issues that may arise. F. If there are any disputes in relation to this policy and there is more than one consultant selling paparazzi products at a show, the challenging consultant must take it up with the show promoter or manager with whom they contracted the space in an effort to resolve the issue. Paparazzi will not mediate such disputes. G. The consultant may never offer a sale, deal, or promotion at a show that lowers the retail or sale value below the suggested retail value of $5 per unit. H. No competing jewelry or similar products may be offered alongside or in the same booth as paparazzi products in order to maintain its good name and to minimize comparison with inferior products. I. The independent consultant or an agent thereof must attend all hostess parties, home parties, show booths, or events that they are sponsoring or supporting, gaining retail product at, the booth or party may never be left unattended at any time or with someone who is not a paparazzi consultant. It should be noted that only the show director has the ability to resolve any issues on the premises. As any concerns or issues are directed toward paparazzi, it can only be in relation to a claim of policy violation and the consultant who has followed the policy as outlined above and has their documentation dated and in writing will overrule.
no circumstance in which neither disputing party in relation to a policy violation has followed the above policy will be considered by paparazzi. A failure to comply with the policies outlined above equates to failure to dispute or challenge another's right within the policy. 5.14. Change of sponsor or placement. To protect the integrity of all marketing organizations and the hard work of all consultants within the organization, paparazzi will seldom allow changes to the sponsorship or placement of another consultant or organization. Maintaining the integrity of the sponsorship and placement trees is critical for the success of every consultant and marketing organization. Accordingly, the transfer of a paparazzi business from one position to another is rarely permitted. Requests for a change of sponsor or placement within an organization must be submitted in writing to the paparazzi support department in writing, via email, support at paparazziaccessories.com, and must include the reason for the request. Transfers will only be considered in the following circumstances. A. Cases involving fraudulent or unethical sponsoring. All requests of this nature must be made within 60 days of the alleged activity. B. Consultants may terminate their positions voluntarily, wait the required 12 months, and then re-enroll within the desired organization, or C, the request is made and received within 72 hours of the initial enrollment or placement. It will be left to the sole discretion of paparazzi whether any downline or team members may be moved in the process of such requests. At no time will a request be approved if it directly affects the ranking or significantly affects the monetary rewards from an organization as a result of the move itself. There is a $25 non-refundable fee to investigate any requested changes. If at any time an independent consultant is deemed inactive for a period of three consecutive months, that independent consultant forfeits all rights to have their approval required for any requested changes within their organization at the discretion of the company. 5.15. Non-solicitation. Consultants may not participate in other direct selling opportunities, party planning, network marketing, and or multi-level marketing whose primary product line offering Competes with paparazzi accessories. This includes, but is not limited to, necklaces, earrings, bracelets, rings, lanyards, headbands, and or hair clips. If a consultant has a question about a particular company and whether or not there is a conflict, it is the consultant's obligation to contact the paparazzi compliance department via email at compliance at paparazziaccessories.com for clarification. Failure to adhere to this policy and the continued participation in another competing company may result in disciplinary action. This may include suspension or termination of the consultant's account. In addition, during the term of this agreement and for 12 months after the termination of a paparazzi account, a consultant may not solicit, recruit, or attempt to recruit other paparazzi consultants to any other network marketing business. Consultants must not sell or attempt to sell any competing non-paparazzi products at any event where paparazzi products are being sold. This includes but is not limited to jewelry, hair accessories, or other network marketing products. Consultants may not display paparazzi promotional material, signage, or literature in a way or fashion that may confuse or mislead a prospective customer or consultant into believing there is a relationship between paparazzi and non-paparazzi products or services. Consultants may not offer the paparazzi opportunities side by side or in conjunction with any non-paparazzi opportunity, product, or service. 5.16 Downline Activity Reports Genealogy Downline activity reports are available to consultants to access and view their paparazzi sales organization. These reports are available in the consultant's virtual back office. These reports are the property of paparazzi and therefore the information contained therein is confidential. 
The use of these reports outside the intended use of supporting and building a paparazzi organization is in direct violation of this agreement and may bring legal action upon the violating consultant. A consultant shall not, in, on his or her own behalf, or on the behalf of any other person, partnership, association, corporation, or other entity, a directly or indirectly disclose any information contained in any b downline activity report to any third party, c directly or indirectly disclose the password or access code to his or her downline activity report or to the reports of any other consultant, D, use the information to compete with paparazzi for any purpose other than promoting his or her paparazzi business, E, recruit or solicit any consultants or customers of paparazzi listed on any report or in any manner attempt to influence or induce any consultant a paparazzi to alter their business relationship with paparazzi, or F, use or disclose to any person, partnership, association, corporation, or other entity any information contained in any downline re activity reports, including sponsorship or placement relationships. Upon demand by paparazzi, any current or former consultant will return the original and all copies of any downline activity reports to the company. 5.17. Cross-sponsoring. Actual or attempted cross-sponsoring is strictly prohibited. Cross-sponsoring is defined as the enrollment or attempted enrollment of an individual or entity which is already or has a current independent consultant agreement on file with paparazzi that has not expired or been terminated for the duration of 12 consecutive months. The use of a spouse's or relative's name, trade names, doing business as, assumed names, corporations, partnerships, trusts, federal ID numbers, fictitious ID numbers, or any other artifice to circumvent this policy is prohibited. Consultants must not demean, discredit, or defame other consultants in an attempt to entice another consultant to become a part of a new organization with paparazzi or within another company. If cross-sponsoring is discovered, it must be brought to the company's attention immediately. Paparazzi will then conduct a compliance investigation in which paparazzi reserves the right to permanently terminate any agreements involved, rectify the organization as they deem appropriate, and potentially initiate legal action. 5.18. Cross-company recruiting. Any and all attempts to su successful or unsuccessful by any consultant to cross-recruit current paparazzi consultants to any other multi-level network marketing or party planning companies and organizations constitutes a violation of this agreement. This violation will result in immediate suspension of the consultant's account followed by an investigation into the matter and if warranted or deemed necessary by the compliance department the termination of the consultant's account. 5.19 Inventory Loading Consultants must never purchase more products than they can reasonably use or sell to retail customers in a month and therefore must not influence other consultants to purchase more product than they can reasonably sell within a month. Not only will excess product not be returnable, it may be seen as bonus buying and a violation of Section 5.20. 5.20. Bonus buying. Bonus buying is strictly and absolutely prohibited. Bonus buying involves any method of directly or indirectly maintaining or increasing a consultant's rank, volume, or commission level by purchasing products for which the consultant does not have a bona fide need for personal use or bona fide reason or intent to resell within the next 30 days from the date of the order or placing orders personally within the with the intention of hitting or maintaining a rank, volume, or commission level. This also includes using multiple positions within the organization to achieve the goal of buying the bonus or achievement. 
If it is determined by the compliance department that a consultant is bonus buying, that consultant may be subject to suspension, termination, loss of com commissions, loss of rank, or temporary or permanent suspension of the return policy. Product determined to be used or purchased in an abusive manner, i.e. bonus buying, will not be allowed to be returned. 5.21 Fraudulent Behavior Consultants and the hostesses they work with are obligated to work in an ethical, fair, and honest manner. If a consultant's behavior or interactions are dishonest or fraudulent in any way, they will be immediately suspended, investigated, and potentially terminated. It is also expected that consultant uphold all agreements, contracts, or obligations entered into with any other party through the course of building their paparazzi business. 5.22 Owning Another Direct Sales Company Neither consultants nor their spouses, significant others, may be an owner, founder, partner, or operate, manage other multi-level network marketing or party planning company organization. Section 6 Responsibilities of Consultants 6.1 Change of address, telephone, or contact information to avoid any disruption in business practices, the consultant is responsible to notify paparazzi of any changes to the contact information provided on the consultant's account. Most changes can be made online, but can also be done via phone through the paparazzi support department. A post office box, P.O. box, is acceptable for a billing address, but not acceptable for a shipping address as inventory packages will not be shipped using the United States Postal Service and will not be delivered to a USPS post office box unless a delivery confirmation waiver is received. Paparazzi is not held liable for missing shipments, commission payments, or any action or delayed response as a result of inaccurate or outdated contact information on the consultant's account. This includes name, billing address, shipping address, telephone numbers, texting numbers, email address, and any other means of communication possible. 6.2. Changes to the agreement. It is the consultant's responsibility to update or initiate any updates if there are any changes to the agreement, including government ID numbers, applicant, applicant names, or business entities. These changes can be initiated through paparazzi support and require that a newly executed and completed agreement be submitted. There may be an additional $25 fee to change principles, business entities, or taxable government IDs on file. 6.3. Continuing Leadership any consultant who sponsors other consultant into paparazzi must perform a bona fide assistance and training function to ensure that his or her organization is properly operating their paparazzi business and that they are in full compliance with local and federal laws and this agreement. It is expected that consultants will monitor the activities of their organizations and support full compliance with the company's policies contained within this agreement. In any circumstances where it is discovered by a consultant that a member of their team may be in violation of this agreement, they are to do all within their power to bring them back into compliance with this agreement. If that is not possible or completed, they are to notify the paparazzi compliance department immediately. Consultants are expected to support, train, and mentor other consultants in the organization to help them build success. It is expected that sponsoring consultants may be available to be contacted, attend meetings, and support their organizations. Failure to do so will result in a lack of personal success within the company. 6.4. Providing Documentation When enrolling a new consultant, the sponsoring consultant must be able to provide or ensure that they have access to and have reviewed the latest version of the policies and procedures, the compensation plan, and the consultant agreement before the new consultant signs the independent consultant agreement or completes the process online. Reporting Obligation 
All consultants have an obligation to report any policy violation that they may witness or be aware of to the Paparazzi Compliance Department. Failure to do so may result in compliance actions taken against them. 6.6 .6, Laws and Ordinances All consultants must be aware of and adhere to any local or federal laws and ordinances that may affect or be a part of their paparazzi business or sales activities. 6.7 Federal Regulations Certain federal regulations govern the, govern the direct sale of inventory which includes paparazzi accessories. In order to comply with those regulations, consultants must ensure the following information is provided on all sales receipts at each transaction. A. Date of transaction. B. Product issued, units purchased. C. Name and address of selling consultant. And D. Signature of purchaser indicating receipt of product. They may also be aware of the consultant's return policy of the product. Consultants are required to issue sales receipts for the retail purchase of prod paparazzi products, as well as to keep a copy for themselves for no less than two years from the trans from the transaction documented. 6.8. Adherence to Hostess Rewards Program. The success of any party planning organization rests with the success of the hostess. Hostess refers to someone who has agreed to hold a party for their friends and associates and have invited a paparazzi consultant to offer their product at their home or via an online party. Incentivizing a hostess to hold a party at their home or online is key to the success of any organization. Therefore, Paparazzi has outlined the following as the minimum amount of compensation offered to hostesses for, hostess for hosting the party. A. All consultants are obligated to offer 10% credit to the hostess for the retail sales generated at their hosted party preferably to be selected out of the inventory at the party. Hostesses of online parties will choose from current online inventory before the party is closed. The credit amount is determined from the retail sales, not profit, and is exchanged for retail price $5 US. To support and offset the cost for the consultant to adhere to this minimum offering for their hostess, Paparazzi supplements a cut consultant's personal inventory purchases with additional units that may be used to fill this obligation. Paparazzi strongly encourages independent consultants to increase and enha enhance their hostess rewards program for their own hostesses. Understanding that the more excited the hostess is, the more excited the customers are, and the more sales are generated. 6.9 Reception of Product when an order is received, it is the consultant's responsibility to do an immediate inventory of the product delivered to determine if there are any damaged or missing pieces from the invoiced order. Failure to notify paparazzi within three business days of confirmed delivery of the shipment will cancel your right to request a return. Any pieces that may be received can be re that can be reasonably corrected using the complete jewelry toolkit included in each starter kit, will not be considered returnable. 6.10 Lost or Stolen Orders In the event that an order is shipped by paparazzi and not received by the designated recipient, paparazzi will initiate a claim through the associated courier. The courier's investigation process can take up to 10 business days. If the courier determines that the package was delivered to the address provided and no signature was obtained, a replacement order may be, may be sent at paparazzi's discretion. There's no guarantee of a replacement order being sent under these circumstances. If excessive or fraudulent claims of missing deliveries are submitted by a consultant, corrective action including suspension and possible termination will be initiated. 6.11. Holding or manipulation of enrollments or orders. A consultant must never hold or manipulate the timing of an independent consultant's enrollment or order. 
Doing so will result in the conclusion that such actions are in conjunction with bonus buying C-Section 5.19 and will be subject to a compliance review. Doing so also postpones the activity of the new independent consultant and can damper an opportunity for them to succeed. 6.12 Actions of Household Members If a member of a consultant's immediate household engages in activities that violate the agreement, including these policies, the consultant will be considered to be in violation of the agreement. This section also applies to any member of a business entity that is a business representative of paparazzi as a consultant. 6.13 Business Insurance Paparazzi does not provide or offer any form of business or liability insurance for a consultant's business. Consultants are free to purchase such insurance for their business. Homeowners or automotive coverage usually does not provide coverage for any type of business-related injury, theft, or damage. Bonuses and Commissions A consultant must be active accumulate and or purchase a minimum of 50 PV within a commission period in good standing and in compliance with the agreement to qualify for bonuses and commissions. So long as the consultant complies with the terms of the agreement, paparazzi shall pay commissions to qualify consultants in accordance with the compensation plan and their qualifications. If at any time during a month a consultant account is suspended for compliance or policy issues, their commission check for that month will be held until the compliance department determines a resolution to the issue. If it is found that there was no violation, the check will be issued at that time. If the account is terminated as a result of proven violations, the commission check will not be paid. The minimum amount for which paparazzi will issue a check or direct deposit is $20 after a $2.50 processing fee for printed checks. If a consultant's earnings for the month total less than the aforementioned amount, those funds will be placed on their paparazzi account to be added to the next commission payout cycle. Once the minimum amount has accumulated, the standard payout process will be triggered. In the event that a check must be reissued due to misinformation out of the control of paparazzi, an additional $2.50 will be charged and taken from the check amount. 7.2. Commission Times Commissions are only paid in the form of checks or direct deposit and are paid as a whole payment in relation to the activity within the last previously closed commission period. Commission periods and qualification periods begin the first day of every calendar month at 12 midnight Eastern Standard Time and conclude the evening of the last day of every calendar month at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. After commission period is closed, a monthly audit and commission calculation begins. Final commission calculations will be posted via the virtual back office around the 10th of the month and the checks mailed and deposits made no later than the 20th day of the following month for which the commissions are being processed. Commission checks are only mailed to the mailing address on file and are issued only in the primary name on file, personal or business. 7.3 Compensation Plan Adjustment Paparazzi reserves the right to make any adjustments necessary to the compensation plan as it sold discretion with 30 days prior notice in writing. Such notice would be made via email and through any notifications in the virtual back office. 7.4. Bonus Adjustment from Returns in the event that a commission has been issued on the sale of a product that is eventually returned or on inventory that is accepted back by paparazzi, any bonuses or commissions that were calculated and paid on the initial sale of the inventory or products will be deducted from the month in which the refund or return took place. This may continue for subsequent months until the paid commissions are covered from all consultants. Up the tree, which may have earned commissions from the initial sales of the refunded inventory. 7.5 Bonus and Volume Reports 
All information provided by paparazzi over the phone, online, or through any type of downline activity reports, including but not limited to personal and group sales volume or any part thereof, and downline sponsoring activity is believed to be accurate and reliable. Nevertheless, due to various factors, including the inherent possibility of human and mechanical error, the accuracy, completeness, and timeliness of orders, denial of credit cards and payments, return product or inventory, credit cards and payment methods, charge back. The information is not guaranteed by paparazzi or any person creating or transmitting the information. All sales volume information is provided as is without warranties expressed or implied or representations of any kind whatsoever. In particular, but without limitation, there shall be no warranties of merchantability, fitness for a particular use, or non-infringement. To the fullest extent possible under applicable law, paparazzi and or other persons creating or transmitting the information will in no event be liable to the, any consultant or anyone else for any direct, indirect, consequential, incidental, special or punitive damages that arise out of the use of or access to sales volume information, including but not limited to lost profits, bonuses or commissions, loss of opportunity and damages that may result from inaccuracy, incompleteness, inconvenience, delay or loss of the use of the information. Even if paparazzi or other persons creating or transmitting the information shall have been advised of the possibility of such damages. To the fullest extent permitted by law, paparazzi or other persons creating or transmitting the information shall have no responsibility or liability or other theory with respect to any subject matter of this agreement or terms and conditions related thereto. Access to and use of the paparazzi online and telephone reporting services and the consultant's reliance upon such information is at the consultant's own risk. If the consultant is dissatisfied with the accuracy or quality of the information, their sole and exclusive remedy is to discontinue use of and access to paparazzi's online and telephone reporting services and their reliance upon the information. 7.6 Compensation Plan Calculations All calculations within the paparazzi compensation plan, qualification and bonus comp calculations are based off of the personal or product volume accumulated within such account or organization. This includes all ranks, commissions, bonuses, rebates, promotions, or any other form of rewards offered by paparazzi within or outside of the paparazzi compensation plan. Paparazzi compensation plan is audited monthly in an attempt to ensure accuracy. Any errors that are discovered to be reported to are to be reported to paparazzi support within 30 days of the publication of the com commission run. Paparazzi has no responsibility in relation to any issues that are not reported within that 30 day period. Paparazzi does all due diligence to ensure accuracy in all calculations and payouts. Section eight, payment and sales tax. 8.1, insufficient funds. It is the consultant's responsibility to ensure that there are sufficient funds through the approved transaction type or credit card. If the funds or credit is not available, the system may not accept the consultant's order or the orders of their organization. If the order payment is not resolved by the end of the commission period, the order will be canceled and any lost commissions, qualifications, or business as a result of the lost order is the sole responsibility and liability of the consultant. 8.2. Entered Orders Any online orders that have been entered but not paid for will be voided after two calendar days. 8.3. Sales Tax in states where paparazzi products are subject to sales tax, the consultant is charged for the sales tax at the full retail sales amount at the time of the wholesale purchase of inventory. This is intended to ensure that each state sales tax agency is made whole on any potential sales from the transactions of that wholesale product. Paparazzi collects these taxes at the time of the wholesale inventory purchase 
and remits it to the state on behalf of the retail sale that the consultant may now have. The sales tax is charged at the local level of the location where the order is shipped. Paparazzi also collects retail sales tax based on shipping location from customers that order online from the Paparazzi website. This allows the paparazzi consultant the option of charging their local taxes on their customer transactions and recuperate that cost or absorbing it into their business structure, while at the same time not bringing any uncovered sales tax liability on paparazzi or the consultant. Paparazzi is required to remit sales tax this way. 8.4 Automated Payment Processing for Events in the circumstances where paparazzi offers a payment package for any event or experience ticket, the consultant agrees to the terms proposed through the payment process. Tickets for paparazzi events, shows, or trainings are subject to their individual terms and conditions. All consultants must pay the full amount of the ticket after they have registered for the event, regardless of whether they can attend or not. All automatic recurring payments as des designated and agreed to by the consultant upon registration must be completed and the ticket must be paid in full. Section 9. Warranties, Guarantees, Returns, and Repurchases 9.1. Manufacturer Defects Paparazzi only warrants against manufacturer defects. Consultants are required to inventory their products within three days upon receipt and immediately report any defective products in accordance with Section 6.9. There are times when small pieces of jewelry may be loose, i.e. jump rings, and only need a small adjustment. These are not manufacturer defects. Consultants are expected to report any issues to paparazzi support and describe the issue to identify what might be done to resolve it. If indeed it is determined that there is a manufacturer defect, the paparazzi support representative will approve an RMA return merchandise authorization number for the defective pieces only. The consultant will then be required to complete and submit a return request form and send it along with the defective merchandise to paparazzi. Upon receipt, a credit for the amount of the original purchase price will be placed on the consultant's account. This credit can be accessed via the back office and can be applied to a future order with paparazzi. Return shipping costs will be included in the amount of the credit if the return shipping method indicated on the return request form was used. Personal volume associated with the return items will be retracted in the month that the return was received by paparazzi. 9.2. No warranty of used product. Paparazzi does not guarantee or warranty its product after it's removed from the packaging and or used. Paparazzi accessories are fashionable, trendy, and inexpensive. There is no intention or claim at the time of retail purchase of any life of the product guarantee or warranty. Consultants are encouraged to have their own satisfaction offerings within their own business, but to never offer any type of product life guarantee by paparazzi. Used or open product will not be returnable to paparazzi, whether by a retail customer or independent consultant, unless the product fails under the manufacturer, de unless the product falls under the manufacturer defects mentioned in section 9.1. 9.3. Purchase Policy. Any consultant who has an active account may purchase paparazzi product as inventory to resell. Purchased paparazzi product is the inventory of the consultant and is their responsibility to sell or move. Consultants should not purchase more than they reasonably believe they can sell. Resell. Upon purchase and opening of the product, the consultant accepts the responsibility to sell that product and remove any liability of paparazzi to make any retail sales on their behalf. Product purchased for inventory carries no warranties, see section 9.2, and in most circumstances may not be returned, see section 9.4, and the purchasing consultant accepts those liabilities. 
9.4 Return Policy As a result of the nature of the paparazzi business, excess inventory from a show or house party is not returnable. In relation to the nature of paparazzi, fashion trends, and rotating inventory, once the product is purchased and is delivered, that item is not returnable unless it falls under the guidelines of manufacturer defects, see section 9.1, and is identified within three days of receipt. Once a product package is no longer offered, return inventory is no longer available to be restocked and therefore resold. Any excess product, any excess products from a show or party that the consultant may have ordered are encouraged to be used at the next party or show at, or as hostess gifts. As a result of the fast change in fashion, the potential handling of the product and the inability to track single pieces or to resell return items that have already rotated out of the online catalog, most jewelry that has been received may not be considered resaleable and therefore should not be requested to be returned. Any and all volume from the return product will be retracted from the sales organization if within a current commission period or any commissions issued would be retracted from the upline per section 7.4. 9.5. Return of Enrollment. Consultants have 30 days from the time of their enrollment to rescind the independent consultant agreement. As long as paparazzi is notified within the first 30 days from the time of the initial enrollment, paparazzi will refund the full amount of the starter kit purchased provided certain conditions are met. For a full refund, all items in the kit must be unopened, unused, and undisplayed. If some items have been opened, a full refund may be given for any items in the kit that are unopened, unused, and undisplayed. All refunds are subject to a review of merchandise once it is received by paparazzi. A return merchandise authorization, RMA number, is required for all returns. RMA numbers can be obtained by calling paparazzi support. Returning items must be received no later than 15 days from the date on which the consultant notifies paparazzi of their intent to terminate their independent consultant agreement or 45 days from initial enrollment date, whichever comes first. 9.6 Inventory Buyback In the event that a consultant wishes to terminate their account and requests that any remaining inventory be purchased back by paparazzi only unused, not previously displayed, unopened, never previously worn, and only those with the original paparazzi tags would be considered for inventory buyback. Items that don't carry PV are not eligible for buyback. In such an event, the inventory buyback as a result of the changing world of fashion will be at a discounted rate of $2 per acceptable unit piece with a retracted 2 PV for each unit. Acceptable pieces will be determined at the sole discretion of paparazzi and only after review and inspection upon the return. An RMA number issued and approved by paparazzi support is required prior to any inventory buyback returns taking place, or the inventory buyback will not be honored. The full accumulation of the return product volume will be retracted from the organization as in Section 7.4, and the most recent commissions which may have been earned by the terminating consultant may be retracted or removed from the returning funds as a result of the retracting volume which may have qualified them within the paparazzi com compensation plan for previous awarded bonuses. 9.7. Refused Deliveries In any circumstance where a paparazzi inventory order is refused at the door and returned to paparazzi, the ordering consultant will be liable for a $15 re refusal fee issued by the delivering service, as well as a 10% restocking fee to restock the unopened inventory. If an order is canceled after it's left the warehouse, a $15 recall fee will be charged to the consultant. 9.8 Business Auto Ship or Faction Fix 
when a consultant subscribes to receive the monthly business auto ship, hereafter referred to as the fashion fix, the consultant acknowledges that it is an optimal service. The consultant acknowledges that it is an optional service and is in no form required by this document, literature, or training. The Fashion Fix is designed to help consultants in the following ways. A. Contributing to the minimum monthly level of personal volume, 50, required to be considered active and eligible for commissions. B. Maintain new inventory on hand through regular inventory shipments. Due to the nature of fashion as well as paparazzi's inventory process, when the fashion fix option is selected by the consultant, the consultant acknowledges the following. A. There is no guarantee, option, or perception that any single piece, accessory, or item will be part of the fashion fix. B. That each package is selected with the intent to increase inventory of the consultant by the amount specified above, not to increase any particular item or accessory. C. That due to the nature and purpose of the program, fashion fix packages are non-refundable, non-returnable, or non-disputable for any reason, including but not limited to. Selection of items received, color of items received, ration of any particular accessory or satisfaction of the items received, only items that fall under the guidelines of a manufacturer defect and falls under the guidelines of section 9.1 will be considered for potential return. 9.8.1 Method of Payment for Fashion Fix the fashion fix must be paid by credit card. The credit card on file for the fashion fix will be processed on the 20th of the month. If the card is declined for any reason, the consultant will receive an email notifying them of the decline. The consultant will then have until midnight, until 11.59 p.m. Eastern time on the second business day following the deadline to correct any issues there may be with their order. On the third business day, all cards that were declined will be processed a second time. If the funds transfer successfully, the order will be processed within three business days and sent to the consultant. In the event that the second attempt to charge the card designated for the order declines, the fashion fix order for that month will be canceled. It is the responsibility of the consultant to contact paparazzi support to change their credit card information on that order. In addition, the consultant will need to make the same changes to the card on their fashion fix profile. Changing the card on the monthly order will not make the change to the profile. One credit card decline on your fashion fix profile will not affect your enrollment in the program. However, any consultant having two consecutive months with a decline card will lose their enrollment in the program and their subscription will be canceled. If a consultant wishes to re-enroll following consolation, they may do so through their back office or by contacting our support team at 855-697-2727 or via email support at paparazziaccessories.com. Re-enrolling in the program is subject to availability. 9.8.2 Fashion Fix Waiting List Enrollment in the Fashion Fix is limited by availability. A consultant can request to be placed on the waiting list for Fashion Fix enrollment anytime by contacting paparazzi support. As spots in the Fashion Fix become available, consultants will be subscribed to Fashion Fix in the order in which they were added to the waiting list. When a consultant is subscribed to the Fashion Fix from the waiting list, they will be notified via email and their credit card will be charged when the next Fashion Fix processes. See section 9.8.1. 9.9. Sold out items. If an item that has been purchased sells out before an order is fulfilled, the consultant will be notified via email. This email along with the order's packing slip will list each item from the consultant's order that has sold out. 
A credit for these items and applicable sales tax will be placed on the consultant's account. This credit can be accessed through the consultant's back office and can be applied toward a future order. A replacement will not be offered. 9.10. Counseling or rerouting a delivery. If a consultant requests an order be rerouted or canceled, a non-refundable $15 rerouting fee will be assessed. Section 10. Dispute Resolution and Disciplinary Proceedings. 10.1. Disciplinary Sanctions. A consultant's violation of the agreement, any of its components, these policies and procedures, or the violation of any common law duty, including but not limited to any applicable duty of loyalty, any illegal, fraudulent, deceptive, or unethical business conduct, or any act or omission by a consultant that, in the sole discretion of the company, may damage its reputation or goodwill, may result at paparazzi's discretion in one or more of the following measures being imposed on the consultant. A. Issuance of a written warning. B. Requirements that the consultant take immediate corrective measures. C. Imposition of a fine, which may be withheld from bonus and commission checks. D. Loss of rights to one or more bonus and commission checks. E. Paparazzi may withhold from a consultant all or part of the consultant's bonuses and commissions during any period of investigation involving an alleged violation of the agreement. If the consultant's business is terminated for disciplinary reasons, they will lose all rights and will not be entitled to recover any held commissions. F. Suspension of the individual's agreement for one or more pay periods. G. Involuntary termination of the offender's agreement. H. Any other measure expressly allowed within any provision of this agreement. I. In situations deemed appropriate by paparazzi, the company may institute legal proceedings for monetary, for monetary and or equitable relief. In the event that a written warning is issued with specific request of compliance or action, such agreed terms between paparazzi and the disciplined consultants are considered an appended agreement to their consultant agreement, and a violation of such terms may warrant, at paparazzi's full discretion, any or all of the actions detailed above. All disciplinary actions are considered confidential and should not be discussed with uninvolved parties. Resolutions and outcomes are not required to be made public knowledge. 10.2. Grievances and Complaints When a consultant has a grievance or complaint with another consultant regarding any practice or conduct in relationship to their respective paparazzi business, the complaining consultant should first report the problem to his or her sponsor who should review the matter and try to resolve it with the other party's upline sponsor. If the matter cannot be resolved, it must be reported in writing to paparazzi support. Paparazzi support will review the facts and resolve the issue at the sole discretion of the compliance department. 10.3. Arbitration and Jurisdiction. Any dispute or claim arising from or relating to the agreement, including these policies and procedures, or any other claim or grievance against paparazzi in any form whatsoever, including but not limited to economic losses, personal injury, property damage, will be subject to mediation at paparazzi's corporate address using a neutral mediator of paparazzi's choosing. In the event the paparazzi and the independent consultant are unable to resolve their dispute through mediation, paparazzi and the independent consultant will be subject to final and binding arbitration to be held in Salt Lake City, Utah. The arbitration will take place before a panel of three arbitrators to be selected as follows. The independent consultant shall select one arbitrator, paparazzi shall select one arbi arbitrator, and the selected arbitrators will select a third arbitrator. The third arbitrator shall be an attorney. 
The party initiating the arbitration will identify its arbitrator in its written demand for an arbitration to the other party. The other party shall identify its arbitrator within five days of receipt of the notification of intent to arbitrate, and the third arbitrator must be selected within five days of the appointment of the second arbitrator. Paparazzi shall pay the fees of, this, of its selected arbitrator. The independent consultant shall pay the fees of his or her selected arbitrator. And paparazzi and the independent consultant shall pay equal shares of the third party arbitrator's fees. The dispute will be subject to rules of arbitration agreed upon by the majority vote of the arbitrators and will be communicated to the party within 10 days after the arbitration after the arbitration panel has been completed. The prevailing party in any arbitration proceeding shall be entitled to receive from the losing party all costs and expenses of arbitration, including legal and filing fees. The decision of the arbitrators shall be final and binding on the parties and may, if necessary, be, re be reduced to a judgment in any court of competent jurisdiction. The decision of the arbitrators shall be final and there shall be no right to appeal such decisions in any court or judicial system. This agreement to arbitrate shall survive any termination or expiration of the agreement. Nothing in these policies and procedures shall prevent paparazzi from applying to and obtaining from any court having jurisdiction a writ of attachment, a temporary injunction, preliminary injunction, permanent injunction, or other relief available to safeguard and protect paparazzi's interests prior to, during, or following the filing of any arbitration or other proceeding or pending the rendition of a decision or award in connection with any arbitration or other proceeding. Additionally, any dispute a consultant has with paparazzi for any act or omission relating to or arising from this agreement must be brought within one year from the date of the alleged misconduct and by accepting this agreement said consultant waive all claims that any other statute of limitation applies. Further, by accepting this agreement, the consultant agrees and covenants not to file suit against paparazzi and of its affiliates, subsidiaries, officers, directors, or employees for any claim or grievance the consultant may have arising from the status as an independent consultant of paparazzi. Jurisdiction and venue of any matter not subject to arbitration shall reside in Washington County in the state of Utah unless the laws of the state in which the consultant resides expressly require the application of its laws, in which case that state's law shall govern all issues related to jurisdiction and venue. The Federal Arbitration Act shall govern all matters relating to arbitration. The laws of the state of Utah shall govern all other matters relating to or arising from the agreement unless the laws of the state in which the consultant resides expressly require the application of its laws. 10.4. Product Liability Claims Paparazzi maintains insurance to protect the company against product liability claims. Paparazzi's insurance policy contains a vendor's endorsement, which extends, to the, which extends the coverage to independent consultants so long as they are marketing paparazzi products in accordance with with applicable laws and regulations and the agreement. Paparazzi's product liability policy does not extend coverage to claims that arise as a result of consultants' misconduct in marketing, reselling, or representing the product or company. Section 11, Inactivity and Cancellation, 11.1. As long as the consultant remains current, see activity requirements outlined in Section 3.7 and complies with the terms of the agreement and these policies and procedures, paparazzi will continue to pay the consultant all earned bonuses and commissions in accordance with the compensation plan. Bonuses and commissions constitute the entire reward for the consultant's efforts in generating sales and all activities related including building and support of a downline organization. If a consultant fails to meet the minimum inventory purchases or 
sales requirement for a period of 12 consecutive months with less than 200 PV, or if the agreement is voluntarily or involuntarily terminated, the consultant shall be deemed to have waived all their rights, title, claim, privileges, or interest to the downline organization that they operated and to any bonuses or commissions for the sales generated from that organization. Additionally, the consultant will lose the right to represent paparazzi, the right to sell paparazzi products, and the right to receive any further compensation, bonuses, commissions, or other income resulting from paparazzi activities. 11.2. Cancellation due to inactivity. In order to keep a consultant's agreement and account active, the consultant must have accumulated at least 200 PV within a rolling 12 consecutive month window. If at any time the consultant has a period of 12 consecutive months wherein the 200 PV minimum is not reached, the agreement will be canceled, the account and position terminated, and the measures in section 11.1 .1 will take effect. Paparazzi will not provide or issue any written confirmation of the can cancellation. It is the consultant's responsibility to maintain and monitor these PV requirements. Paparazzi is not required to provide notification prior to or upon cancellation due to inactivity. 11.3. Voluntary Cancellation. The consultant has the right to cancel their consultant agreement at any time regardless of reason. Cancellation must be submitted in writing to paparazzi support. Any cancellation notice must include name, address, paparazzi consultant ID, and a signature of the primary account representative. At the conclusion of the agreement, all sections that specifically denote a life beyond the agreement are still enforceable. 11.4 involuntary cancellation. Any violation of the terms of the agreement, including any amendment that may be made by paparazzi at its sole discretion, may result in any of the sanctions listed in Section 10.1, including involuntary termination or cancellation of the agreement at the sole discretion of paparazzi. Paparazzi reserves the right to cancel any or all consultant agreements upon 30 days written notice in the event that it elects to in any cir circumstance where there is an involuntary cancellation of an agreement on a position which previously had generated a minimum of $50 from the compensation plan, that account will be terminated will, but will not be removed from the paparazzi organization tree maintaining the current structure of the organization and protecting the integrity of the original organization. See section 4.6 for further details. 11.5 Enrollment Restriction Any consultant that has their consultant agreement terminated, whether voluntarily or involuntarily, will not be eligible to re-enroll as a consultant with paparazzi for a period of 12 months. This 12-month restriction period applies to the consultant as well as to those in their household. Okay, now we're going to marketing and compensation plan, personal volume. The paparazzi compensation plan uses points instead of dollars when determining commissions earned. Personal volume, PV, is assigned to all commissionable products at the rate of 2 PV for every $5 retail price. Each standard accessory has a point value of 2 PV, while each Z Collection necklace carries 10 PV. Retail Profit As a paparazzi independent consultant, you are able to purchase inventory for your shows or parties at wholesale pricing and sell that same inventory at the suggested full retail price. This gives you an immediate 35% to 45% commission. You will also receive retail profit on all inventory purchased by your personally sponsored customers through your replicated website. All retail profit earned will be calculated and processed once a month and paid through the regularly scheduled commission runs. Show rebate. For those independent consultants who do larger shows, paparazzi rewards you. 
When a consultant purchases 1,000 PV or more on a single order, a show rebate of 10% is processed and included in that month's commission check. The show rebate is paid in lieu of hostess rewards being added to the order. Business Building Bonus Every time you personally sponsor or enroll a new independent consultant into paparazzi, you will earn 15% of their initial starter kit purchase PV as long as you are active. Unilevel Bonus Earn up to three levels of commissions on your team of consultants as you progress through the paparazzi ranks and compensation plan. Earn between 5% and 10% of your organization's activities just for supporting and training them in finding their own success. Your first level includes all of your personally sponsored consultants. When you personally when your personally sponsored consultants sponsor new consultants of their own, it creates your second level. You can have an unlimited number of levels in your organization by continuing this pattern. See rank and bonus chart. Generation bonus. As you begin to develop a stronger leader as you begin to develop stronger leadership within your team and qualify as an executive director or higher, you can earn an additional bonus on up to three generations of your organization. A generation begins at every executive director or higher and includes all consultants down to and including the next executive director or higher. See rank and bonus chart. Legacy bonus. As an A-lister or higher, you can earn an additional 1-2% to 2 on the volume generated in up to three legacies within your organization. A legacy is created when you become an A-lister and it includes all consultants down to and including the next A-lister or higher below you. See rank and bonus chart. Infinity bonus. As a Lux Jet Setter, you can earn an additional half a percent on the volume generated from your entire team down to and including the next Lux Jet Setter or higher. When you reach the rank of Impressionista, this payout increases to 1%. Access a second infinity bonus of half a percent on the volume generated between the first Lux Jet, jet Setter or higher and the next when you become an iconic impressionista cash bonus when a consultant arrives at the top ranks for the first time by maintaining the required qualifications for two consecutive months a cash bonus is paid for the lux jet setter it is twenty five thousand dollars for the impressionista it is fifty thousand dollars for the iconic impressionista, it is $100,000. Oh my goodness.